Go to the He's a smiler as well, look. Get it in ya. It's called Windrush, baby. Yes. It's very like important at the moment. 75th anniversary of Windrush is next week. So I should sing about it. I'm just a wee rush, baby, with little bits of crazy. I like just to have a good time. Whatever you need, burst entertaining. Whatever your stimulation, no need to think twice, no. I'm just a wee rush, baby. I just want it to be more of a celebration and a happy thing that has come from the pain and suffering from prior. We are a representation of the strength and tenacity that they had and uh, we can smile and sing songs about it. You right, Gub? Yeah? I said, you're right, Gub. He went, looked up and went, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Roa. Good luck, you fellas. I appreciate it, Roa. Thank you very big Trying, man. Trying the hardest, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hakim is the only child that gave me a lot of trouble. He didn't like boundaries. You know, his friends were out on road doing whatever they were doing because their parents didn't have the same values as me. So he's, for me, he's not to be out on road. At X time, you need to be at home because I don't want any trouble come to my door as a young black man mm -hmm. but he didn't listen and he sure did get himself into trouble <laughs> his song the ring rush song i think is is brilliant you know and i take all the credit for that <laughs> yes i do because had i not been instilling Teach, yeah, teaching him about himself as a black man i told him that already uh, though you know and you know who he is and where he comes he wouldn't be, he wouldn't have that in him. I put all that in him from he was like five because my grandmother said you have to bend the tree when it's young. Not when it's grown, it's too late. How do you remember Windrush What happened to our people, the struggles that they went through for us, you know, the fight that they put up for us and, um, and because of what they have done, we are able to take it and move forward and do better for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Growing up with our dogs was wonderful. Very community inspired. Everyone was in everyone's business. Everyone knew each other. But it's not the same place anymore. I used to run up and down the street, this street here. My mate Shay family lived there. My mate Lloyd to live there. That was wonderful. It's just like, it's always mixed people, like, everyone just got along. All my neighbours was Irish, um, yeah. Apart from the Somali lady that used to live next door, everyone was Irish. So, but Jamaicans and Irish get along, so. <laughs> if, uh, you can see the difference immediately, do you know what I mean? I think they ruined the street. They're not even finished, they just keep putting more and more and more up. None of them are even inhabited. No one even lives in them. Half of these ones are empty. People just moving out to Essex or here or there. We don't want to go nowhere. We just want our island. Gentrification touching everywhere in England, not just the Isle of Dogs, but on the Isle of Dogs, it's rife. What happened to the butchers and the bakers that used to be there? I wrote a song called Lost London, and it's about that fucking long, ghastly hand just eradicating our communities as it does generationally. Um, so this is what Lost London's about. Yes, Governor, look at him. He's starting early, <laughs> isn't he? Oh, yes, he said again, look. <laughs> and the windows slam, and the traffic jams, and the turmoil man, he don't own no land. And the bakeries are close, ten and full of sourdough, and the maybes are nose. In the twilight zone, and we almost lost London. Man, feeling among us, and we almost lost London. Damn, 
It's feeling You know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm not no good. Oh, oh she's gone for the old neck grab. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jess, lovey. Oh yeah, she's coming straight in with the old. Lovely, lovely. No mucking the muddles. Oh, oh, that was absolutely you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you so much, man. That was sick. It I'm was. Glad. I'm it glad was. you enjoyed it. Thank you, brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> waiting for you. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. Oh, nice, nice. Um, so it's cool to like, see some of the meshes, like black identity, blue identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, supposed to be it. Like, it's sometimes, it's sometimes it's difficult, right? Okay. Like, every time I do go back, I walk around Brixton and people cross the road because, you know, like, black people, and it's like gentrified to fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible, it's horrible, isn't it? The and they market. come and they, they come to the market. It's the market. Old big old bricks and market. That used to be filled with sugar cane and this, that and this and it's all these little eateries that people can't afford. Time moves forward. <laughs> yeah, no, um. Sad also, right? Yeah. And they cross the road when and they hold their bags. Mm -hmm. And I'm like <laughs> I know in Brixton, this is a place where they put us. Stacked us on top of each other. Burning down buildings. Burning down buildings and killing people. And now, 50 years later, we want to cross the road when we're walking out and this is the only place that you dashed us. You make me remember Brixton as it was, so it's like, it's Come amazing. on then. Thanks. <laughs> Give me it. This is, you, you're, you're the most important one today. <laughs> you are. That's why you made me cry. You don't yeah. even know the half of it. Oh, you nearly got one on the lips, here. <laughs> <laughs> Write songs about what I see. People feel hopeless at the moment, you know? People feel very hopeless at the moment. Everything's through the roof, do you know what I mean? Cost of living, we know what's going on in that horrible Tory government. They take even more, even though there's nothing more to take. There isn't really much to believe in except for maybe the person standing next to you. So that's why I feel like it's the best thing to do is to forge relationships with friends and people, you know, and put, put ideas and money together and try and get yourself out of a deep hole because I, think, I guess that's the only way, really. My hero, Freddie Hampton, who was a Black Panther, he realised that there was an issue of racism and there was an issue of class as well. And they, they run quite synonymous, they run parallel, you know, all at the bottom of the crab bucket together. No matter the colour of the crab, we still at the bottom of the bucket. I'm here now and I'm singing the truths. And I can go around the country and sing to people and I sing Windrush Baby and people love it and they go crazy because they feel me. Because I'm a real working class people, I'm from that. And they connect with that. <laughs> 